A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. I urge you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and in the same purpose. For it has been reported to me about you, my brothers and sisters, by Chloe's people, that there are rivalries among you. I mean that each of you is saying, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the cross of Christ might not be emptied of its meaning. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading for this Sunday is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We have been reflecting on the God who draws near to us, and hopefully we will draw near to God. He takes the initiative. He comes to us. Could we come to Him? In the first reading from the prophet Isaiah, the land of the Gentiles, Galilee, humiliated and oppressed, very poor, unjustly treated, will finally see the light. The light will come to this forgotten people, impure, despised, and they will see the peace, the liberation that God will give them. We know that this dawning of God's light is in a process, and we are privileged to put a name to that light. It is not an object. It is a person, Jesus. In the second reading, we have the Christian community among the Corinthians. They have received the light who is Christ. But the reality that St. Paul addresses reminds us of the fragility of our approach to the light who is Christ. There is no problem with Jesus coming to us to bring us his light. But very often, due to human weakness, due to our limitations and sinfulness, we could block that light from fully shining forth in our personal lives and in the life of the community. Let us take the experience of the Corinthians. St. Paul saw division, conflicts, a lot of quarreling. And what was the cause? Loyalties, allegiances. One group say, would say, my allegiance is for Cephas, Peter. Well, he is the prince of the apostles, so my allegiance is for him. Why will I settle for the lower apostles? I will go to the top, to Peter, Kephas. Others say, no, we go to Paul. He was the one who went around preaching. We have not seen Peter, so Paul. And others said, Apollos, because Apollos is a good preacher. Oh, talented, entertaining. Oh, he knows how to attract listeners to him. And so, they were divided along loyalty lines. They have forgotten that the light comes from Jesus. Yes, Peter has some light. Yes, Paul has some light. Apollos, yes, has some light. But nothing, nothing, no light without the light from Jesus. That's why Paul asked them, but who died for you? In whose name were you redeemed? 
in whose name were you baptized? Not in the name of Paul, not in the name of Peter, not in the name of Apollos. Do not divide Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus' light comes to us. Will we be focused on Him? Or will we be drawn to other lesser lights and then bring darkness to the community and to the world? Let this be a lesson to us.